With midterm elections only a week away, we're seeing an increase in negative attack ads. Here's the latest from race baiting Sharon Angle, who's running against Harry Reid in the Nevada Senate race. Take a look. Waves of illegal aliens streaming across our border, joining violent gangs, forcing families to live in fear. And what's Harry Reid doing about it? Voting to give illegal aliens social security benefits, tax breaks, and college tuition. Voting against declaring English our national language twice. Roy Seacoff, founding editor of the Huffington Post, is with me. You know, um, she is a race baiter. D does she realize that she's brazenly racist in this ad, or, or is she... Uh, going to spin that in some way. Hmm, let me think, Joy. <laughs> Look, the thing we know is that those guys, uh, you know, the ominous, horrible, dark-looking guys, they've used those same guys, same guys in three different ads in three different states. They get around a lot. Uh-huh. Yeah. I challenge her to run that, uh, that ad in the South Bronx and see how she gets along up there. I think that would and go come, over very well. And come and do like a, maybe a town meeting in the South Bronx. Well, yeah, see how that works for you, well, Miss Angle. We saw how well it worked, though, when she spoke to the Hispanic kids at that high school, and she said, you know what? I, I don't see color almost as a matter of fact you look asian to me did that you see she, that you know, she, she couldn't tell the difference between the latin kids and latino kids and, and the asian kids i can't decide which is more dangerous somebody who's smart and a raci racist or someone who's stupid like she is and a racist hmm. which is worse they're both horrible uh, anytime smart people do stupid things that that, that that hurts me a little bit more but joy i i need to ask you yeah. you've been on a bit of a roll lately yeah you, you walked off the set with o'reilly yeah today you had a few choice words for sharing yeah i think you need to get away from the tv you've been watching <laughs> too many of these ads you well, know getting to you girl you know the thing about me is that i really can't stand when someone's a race baiter i don't like it but when i i feel propelled to say things like that yeah. and that's how i am no one in my family ever told me to shut up you and know, that was their their problem no no it's good no I, one I, told me to shut up and i still won't shut up i think that's great you know and i think the thing is in fact we have to look at that because you know it's getting worse in the sense that they've been playing the feared card for many years. I mean, as you said, Willie Horton, they play the race That's card. Right. I mean, it's this ominous, the scary, the other. And we've seen a lot more of this since Obama became president. Right, you know? right. But I think what's getting scary is we're now seeing that fear mongering mixed with real thuggery. Right. The woman getting her head right. stepped on. Joe Miller, his, his, his goons handcuffing that reporter. When does, the, when does the Republican Party establishment, when does this call Rove, get on television and say, I denounce these people. I denounce these ads. This is not what the Republican Party of Eisenhower and Abraham Lincoln stood for. When does he do that? I think we'd be waiting a long, long, long time to hear that. I mean, that, that's not going to come because that's page one in their playbook. Demonize, you know, scare, you know, play to our lizard brain as opposed to our intellect because they don't have any ideas. There are no ideas being, for, by, being put forward by this candidate. And the other thing that I think that we're seeing, we're seeing a lot of these candidates who are not ready for prime time. Right. You know, Joe Miller, Sharon Angle, right. Christine O'Donnell, you know, uh, they're, they're well, making... they're behind. I mean, even Palladino and, and Christine, they're not going to win. I no, mean, they're not... No, they're at not. this point, it's like beating a dead horse. Well, right. Well, I think Sharon Angle, though, she has a real shot right, at winning. I right. think she actually is going to win because her whole trick is, you know, she's not running because vote for me. She's running vote for me, I'm not Harry Reid. And I'm not, and I'm against these immigrants. That's yeah. what she's running against. Well, yeah, they're definitely, you know, lighting the torch. And I think that's what's happening. There is a lot of anger in the electorate, and it feels like that's some gasoline, and they're about to throw a match okay. on it. Thanks very much, Roy. I'd like to see her do this ad in the South Bronx. Come here, bitch. Come to New York and do it. <laughs> We're praying for you. Well, well, even praying for Joy her. is praying for you. I'm not praying for her. I'm praying for her. I'm praying that her heart gets saved. I'm praying that Sharon Angle's heart gets saved.